Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee Advanced Levels of Mathematics. From now on, I will record all the videos in English and Cantonese version. And for this video, the Cantonese version will be start at the time here. We continue the differentiation 9.9 .9 using the second derivative. You can use the second derivative to determine whether a curve is concave or convex on a given domain. And what is mean by concave and convex, we can look at this curve. This curve is a concave curve. That means at this point is the maximum point. The curve will go up to the maximum point and turning down. And in this range, because the open end is facing downwards, we call it concave. And in this curve, we call it convex because in this range, the open ends will face upwards. This is the concave. To this range, to 2, this is concave. And from here, from 2 to more than 2, this is convex. So this point we call is the points of infection. So we look at the definition. The function fx is concave on the given intervals if and only if f double dash, that means the second derivative of fx is less than zero for every value in the x in the intervals. And the function fx is convex on the intervals a to b if and only if second derivatives of y is greater than or equal to zero for each value of x in that interval. So to find the second derivative, we just use the y equal to fx function and derivative and differentiate it twice, and we got the second derivative of fx, and we write it as f dash dash x. So in here, the d square y by dx square is equal to minus. So the curve is concave for all x belong to a real number because the open end is facing down and d square y by dx square is equal to ex which is always positive so the curve is convex because it's always facing up for all x belong to r but this curve is different if y equal to x cubed minus 6 x squared minus 9 and we differentiate it twice, we got 6x minus 12. So the 6x minus 12 will be positive or negative, depend on the values of x. So for concave, all the x is less than or equal to 2. The open end is facing down, so it's concave. And it's greater than or equal to 2, the open end is facing up, so it is convex. Let's look at some example. Find the intervals of which the function fx equal to x squared plus 4x plus 3 is concave. So with differentiate 1, we got f dash x equal to 3x squared plus 4 and f dash dash x equal to 6x. For fx to be concave, the second derivative must be less than or equal to 0. So 6x less than or equal to 0 and x is less than or equal to 0. So the fx is concave for all x is less than or equal to 0 or we can write it as from the minus infinitive to 0 for the x values the fx is a concave curve. Example 2, show that the function fx equal to e to the ex plus x squared is convex for all real values of x. So with derivative for one type, we got 2e to the 2x plus 2x. And the second derivative is 4e to the 2x plus 2. And we know that e to the 2x is always greater than 0 for all x belong to r. 
So 4e to the 2x plus 2 is always greater than 2 for all x belong to R. So it's a positive number. And the curve should be convex curve. Hence, f that's, that's x greater than equal to 0. So f is convex for all x belong to R. And in here, we want to find the point at which a curve change from being concave to convex or vice versa. It's called a point of infection. So in here, we got a curve like this. And in somewhere around here, the curve will be changed from concave to convex. So if we got y equal to x squared minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 5, this is the equation of this curve. We have the interval from minus 2 to 0. The curve is concave, minus 2 to 0, minus 2 to 0 here, the curve is concave. Because the intervals from 1 to 3, the curve is convex, open end facing up. At some points between 0 and 1, the curve changes from being concave to being convex. This is the point of infection. So a point of infection is a point at which the f dash dash x, the second derivative of the function, change size. To find a point of infection, you need to show that f dash dash x equal to 0 at that point, and it has different size on either side of the point. This is a very important concept. Not just needs to show that f dash dash x equal to 0, but you have to substitute two values from the two sides and they got different size. That means on the left hand side is concave, on the right hand side should be convex or vice versa. Otherwise, this point is only a point of changing. So be a maximum point or minimum point. Let's see example three. The curve C has equation y equal to x squared minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. So that the C is concave on the interval minus 2 to 0 and convex on the intervals 1 to 3. So dy by dx equal to 3x squared minus 4x minus 4. And the second derivative is 6x minus 4. So if 6x minus 4 is less than 0, the curve is concave. x is greater than minus 2 or less than 0. So in this range, the curve is concave. Therefore, y equal to x squared minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 5 is concave on the intervals minus 2 to 0. And the second derivative is 6x minus 4 if this is greater than 0, the curve should be convex. So x is from 1 to 3. Therefore, y is equal to x squared minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 5 is convex on the intervals 1 to 3. That means from the point 0 to 1, there should be a point of infection. In B part, we have to find the coordinate of the point of infection. So B, the second derivative is 6x minus 4 equal 0, and x is equal to 2 over 3. Substitute this 2 over 3 into the y equation. That means into this y equation here, we got y is equal to 47 over 27. So the point of infection of the curve C is equal to 2 over 3 and 47 over 27. After this example, we go to the exercise number 4, 5, 6, and a challenge question number 7. So get your papers, calculators, and pens ready. We go for the exercise.
Number four, for each of the following function, find the intervals on which the function is convex or concave. If it is convex, the second derivative should be greater than or equal to zero, and if it is concave, the second derivative should be less than or equal to zero. So for this function, fx equal to x squared minus 3x squared plus x minus 2. So the first derivative, f dash x, is equal to 3x squared minus 6x plus 1. And the second derivative is equal to 6x minus 6. So for the converse range, f dash dash x should be greater than or equal to 0. So 6x minus 6 greater than or equal to 0. And x is greater than or equal to 1. So the range of the x if the function is convex is that range of x is from 1 to infinity and for the concave f dash dash x is less than or equal to 0 so 6x six minus 6 is less than or equal to 0 and x is less than or equal to 1 so the range of x for the curve to be concave is from 1 infinity to 1. And in B part, fx equal to x to the 4 minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. So the f dash x is equal to 4x squared minus 9x squared plus 2 and f dash dash x is equal to 12 x squared minus 18 8 and for converse f dash dash x is greater than or equal to 0 so 12 x squared minus 18 x is greater than or equal to 0 so 6 x multiplied by 2 x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. So in here, one condition is this one is greater than 0 and this one is greater than 0 and the other condition is two of them is less than 0 is negative side so multiply two negative side we got a positive side. So we got 6x greater than or equal to 0 x greater than or equal to 0 and 2x minus 3 greater than or equal to 0 and x greater than or equal to 3 over 2. And if 6x less than or equal to 0, x is less than or equal to 0, and 2x minus 3 less than or equal to 0, and x is less than or equal to 3 over 2. So for the converse, the range, should, the range of x should be from minor infinity to zero and union of the three over two to positive infinity. This is the range where this function is a convex curve. And for the concave, f dash dash x is great less than or equal to zero, so six x 2x minus 3 less than or equal to 0. This one is negative, this one will be positive, and this one is positive, this one will be negative. So we got 6x is less than 0, x is less than 0. Uh, and 2x minus 3 is greater than 0, x is greater than or equal to 3 over 2. We got one condition. And the other condition is that 6x is greater than 0, x is greater than 0. And 2x minus 3 is less than 0, x is less than or equal to 3 over 2. Because this one is less than 0, this one is greater than, so this one is not the case. 
so it must be greater than zero and less than three over two. So the range of x and the curve is concave is from zero to three over two. Question number five, we have three parts, A, B, C. I have x equal to arc size x, and x is from minus one to one. Show that the fx is concave on the intervals from minus one to zero, and show that fx is convex on the intervals from zero to one, and hence deduce the point of infection. So we, if we have fx equal to arc size, x and f that x is equal to 1 over square root 1 minus x square and the f that's that x is equal to x 1 minus x square to the minus 3 over 2 this is the second derivative and for fx is concave if f that's that x is equal equal to x over 1 minus x squared to the 3, 2 is less than 0. So x is less than or equal to 0. So the range for minus 1 to 0, the curve should be concave. We prove the curve to be concave. And if f that's, that's x equal to x over 1 minus x squared, 3, 2 is greater than or equal to 0. So x is greater than or equal to 0. So from 0 to 1, the curve should be convex. So be convex. Okay, we also prove the B part. And the C part, we deduce the point of infection. The point of infection is that because Fx is convex in the range of 0 to 1 and Fx is concave in the range of minus 1 to 0. So when x is equal to 0 should be the common pawn. It should be the pawn of infection. So the pawn of infection when x equal to 0 is the pawn of infection. And we substitute this x equal to 0 into the equation y equal to arc size x. So when x is equal to 0, y is equal to arc size 0, is equal to 0. So the point of infection is 0, 0. It's the point of infection. Question number 6. Given that the y equal to x, Multiply by 3x minus 1 to the power 5. Find the dy by dx and d square y by dx square. So the dy by dx is equal to by the multiplication rule or by the product rule, we got this is equal to 15x 3x minus 1 to the power 4 plus 3x minus 1 to the power 5. This is the dy by dx. And we differentiate one more time. We got d square y by dx square is equal to 180x 3x minus 1 to the power 3 plus 30 multiplied by 30x minus 1 to the power 4. And the B part here, we find the point of infection. So from B here, we got 180x 
multiplied by 3x minus 1 to the power 3 plus 30 3x minus 1 to the power 4 equal to 0. This is the point of infection. And we got is that, we multiply this out, we got 3x minus 1 to the power 3 multiplied by 180x plus 90x minus 30 equal to 0. And we have 3x minus 1 to the power 3 multiplied by 270x minus 30 equal to 0. We take out the 30 here, we got 30, 3x minus 1 to the power 3, and this one is 9x minus 1 is equal to 0. So if this one is multiplied is equal to 0, we got 9x minus 1 equal to 0, and x is equal to 1 over 9. And 3x minus 1 equal to 0, we got x is equal to 1 over 3. That's two point of infection. And we substitute the point x equal to 1 over 9 into the y equation. So if x is equal to 1 over 9, y is equal to 1 over 9, 3 times 1 over 9, minus 1 to the power 5, and we got y is equal to 1 over 9 multiplied by minus 2 over 3 to the power 5. And is equal to minus 1 over 9 multiplied by 32 and 243. So the answer should be minus 32 over 2187. So one of the point of infection is that x equal to 1 over 9 and y equal to minus 32 over 2187. And the other point of infection is x equal to 1 over 3. So when x equal to 1 over 3, we substitute y equal to 1 over 3 multiplied by 3, 1 over 3 minus 1 to the power 5. So it's 1 over 3, 1 minus 1 to the power 5. So it's equal to 0. The other point is that when x is equal to 1 over 3, y is equal to 0. So we got two points of infection. One point is here and one point is here. Question number 7. We got two part. The question 7 1 proved that the every cubic curve has exactly one point of infection. See, we know that since a general cubic curve can be written as y equal a x squared plus b x squared plus c x plus d and y dash is equal to 3 a x squared plus 2 b x plus c and y dash dash is equal to 6 a x plus 2 b and if y dash dash equal to 0 so 6 x 6 a x plus 2 b equal to 0 and x is equal to minus 2 b over 6 a and if a is not equal to 0 x have one point of infection so the curve of a cubic should only have one point of infection because the x values should have only one point. And question 7 2 if the curve has the equation y equal to ax to the power 4 plus bx to the power 3 plus cx to the power 2 plus dx plus e equal to 
plus y, and a is not equal to zero, we show that c has most two points of infection. So we got y dash is equal to 4a x to the power 3 plus 3b x to the power 2 plus 2c x plus d. And y dash dash is equal to 12a x power 2 plus 6b x plus 2c. So, and we let capital A equal to 12A, capital B equal to 6B, and capital C is equal to 2C. We have Y dash dash equal to AX squared plus BX plus C. And if Y dash equal to 0, this means the pawn of infection or the maximum pawn. We got it here is x have a solution of minus b plus and minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So we have two solutions. So x have one solution minus b plus square root b square minus 4ac, provide that b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, right? And in here is 2a, and x is equal to minus b minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So for this power 4 equation here, this curve has as most 2 Form of infection because the x value as most have two solutions. And in B part, we prove that 3b squared less than 8ac, then the fx function has one point of infection. Okay. If it says one point of infection, this one b squared minus 4ac should be equal to zero. So the x solution should be equal to minus capital B over 2a if this one is equal to 0, right? So if capital B squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, the function has only one point of infection. And we substitute B squared is 6B squared minus 4a is 12a and capital C is 2c and if this one is less than 0 we don't have any solution for the pawn of x so we don't have any pawn of infection if this one is less than 0 and we multiply it out we got 36b squared minus 96ac is less than 0 and we got 3b squared multiplied by 9, sorry, multiplied by 12 should be, because it's 36 multiplied by 12 is less than 96ac, and we divide each size by 12, we got 3b squared is less than 8ac. So if 3b squared is less than 8ac, the b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, and the x shouldn't have any real solution. So we prove that when b, 3b squared less than 8ac, the fx has no point of infection. 早晨,歡迎大家回來我Learn with Tommy Advanced Level 的數學,我們都繼續翻Differentiation微積分 
second derivative, 第二次嘅微分。You can use the second derivative to determine whether a curve is concave and convex. 咁乜嘢叫 concave 同埋 convex 咧？你會睇翻如果條 curve 係個 open end 係向下嘅，呢、这個就係 concave。咁 concave 嘅時候咧，嗰、那個 second derivative 會係一個負數嘅。如果條 curve 係 open end 係向上嘅話咧，呢、这個就係 convex。而個 second derivative of 個 convex curve 咧，係會係一個正數 always positive 啊，或者一個 positive 嘅數字。嗰條 curve 咧喺個 range 嘅範圍之內就會係叫做 convex。但係有啲情況好特別，好似呢度咧有條 curve 啦，啊某部分啦。就係、是、concave 向下嘅，某部分係 convex 向上嘅。咁呢一部分咧就係、是、concave， 就係呢個範圍就係 concave， 呢個範圍就係 convex。咁 changing size 由 concave 變 convex 或者 convex 變 concave 嗰部分啦，嗰、那個 point 我哋叫 point of infection， 即係呢個 point 啦，就叫 point of infection。我哋睇翻個定義先。The function f x is concave on a given intervals if and only if f Less than x less than zero， 即係第二次嘅微分個數字係細過零嗰個範圍之內啦，嗰條 curve 就叫做 concave。The function f x is convex on the intervals a 去到 b if and only if f less than x 係大過零，即係第二次嘅微分啦，個數字係大過零嘅話啦，嗰、那個 x 喺呢一個範圍之內嘅 f x 啦。就會係一條 convex。So to find the second derivative f dash dash x or the d square y over d x square, you differentiate twice with the respect of x。即係你要將 f x 啊係微分兩次，你就會得到個 second derivative。然之後你睇下個 second derivative 喺個邊個範圍之內係負數，佢就係 concave。邊個範圍之內佢係正數，佢就係 convex。如果佢有一個 changing point 由 convex 轉 concave 或者 concave 轉 convex 嗰個 point， 我哋叫做 point of infection。睇翻頭先嗰三個圖嘅例子，包括呢條 curve、呢條 curve 同埋呢條 curve。咁呢條 curve 係 concave 嘅 curve， 呢條 curve 係 convex 嘅 curve， 而下低呢條 curve 啦，就係有 point of infection 嘅 curve， 部分係 concave。部分係 convex。我哋睇睇 example。Example one: Find the intervals on which the function f x equal to x squared plus four x plus three is concave。我哋將呢條 function derivative 一次，再 derivative 兩次，所以 second derivative 係六 x， 而六 x 咧個 value 如果係細過零，即係 x 係細過零嘅話咧，呢條 curve 嗰個範圍就係 concave。x 係細過零，所有 x 細過零啦，個 f x 咧就會係 concave， 亦都你亦都可以寫啦 ，x 嘅範圍啦係由負 infinity 啦，至到零嗰條 curve，y 等於 x cube plus four x 加三係 concave 嘅 curve。跟住落嚟，如果 example two so that f x equal to e to the two x plus x square is convex for all real value of x。你將佢 second derivative derivative 兩次之後，你會見到 f dash dash x 係等於四 e to the two x plus two。而 e to the two x 我哋知道一定係大過零，所以四個 e to two x plus two 一定係大過二，佢係一個正數。For all x belong to R。x 係任何一個 real number 嘅話咧，呢、这、一個 second derivative 都會係一個正數，所以佢會係一條嘅 convex curve。The point at which a curve changes from being concave to convex or vice versa is called a point of infection。如果有條 curve 喺某部分佢由 concave 轉 convex 或者 convex 轉翻 concave 嘅話咧，嗰、那個 point 咧我哋叫做 point of in。Fraction. The diagram shows that the curve y equal to x 嘅三次方減二 x 嘅二次方減四 x 加五。我哋將佢 derivative 兩次
我哋會發覺喺呢個範圍由負二至到零，佢嘅 second derivative 啦，會係 concave 呢個範圍會係向下，而另外一個範圍一次到三啦，誒或者一次到 infinity 啦，佢就會係向上。咁當佢向上嘅話咧，佢有一條 convex 嘅 curve， 呢部分係 concave， 呢部分係 convex， 所以中間由零至到一之間啦，一定有一個 point 啦。係一個 changing point， 嗰個 point 咧叫做 point of infection。At some points between the zero and one, the curve changes from being concave to being convex. This is the point of infection。亦即係話喺呢部分零至到一就會由 concave 轉 convex， 或者 convex 轉 concave。嗰個 point 我哋叫做 point of infection。但係點樣揾個 point of infection 啦？一間我哋再睇。I mean, if a point of infection is a point at which f dash dash x change size, 当佢转 size, to find a point of infection, you need to show that f dash dash x equal to zero at that point, and that it has different size on either sides of the point. 呢個係一個好重要嘅信息啊！咁當你要證明呢一點，例如呢條 curve， 你要證明呢一點啦，就係 point of infection 嘅話咧，你首先要證明呢一點啦，個 f dash dash x 咧係等於零。OK， 跟住要證明喺呢一點嘅左手邊啦，佢係 concave 嘅話啦，喺右手邊啦，佢會係 convex。咁樣啦，我哋先至叫做 prove 到嗰個 point 啦，係一個 point of。infection， 如果你淨係證明咗 f dash dash x 等於零，但係你冇證明到佢左右係唔同 size， 即係左右係正數或者負數嘅話咧，負號嘅話咧，你就唔可以證明呢一點啦，係一個 point of infection。我哋睇第一個 example 先 ，the curve C has equation y 等於 x 嘅三次方減二 x 嘅二次方減四 x 加五。我哋要證明嘅就係由負二至到零嗰個 curve 係 concave， 而由一去到三嗰個 curve 係 convex。我哋將佢 differentiate 兩次，我哋會得出六 x 減四。如果六 x 減四細過零，佢真係 concave。咁 x 咧由負二去到零，佢會係細過零嘅。而 differentiate 兩次，如果係大過零，佢就係 convex。咁、那個 x 咧係由一至到三，所以我哋證明咗 x 係由負二至到零嘅話，佢係 concave， 由一至到三佢就係 convex。B part 就係 find the coordinate of the point of infection， 我哋要揾個 point of infection， 即係所謂嘅轉捩點。咁如果六 x 減四等於零 ，x 咧就係等於二，除俾三，即係三分之二。我哋將呢個三分之二啦。係 substitute 落呢個 y 嘅 equation 裏面，計翻 y 咧就係等於廿七分之四十七，所以個 point of infection 啦就係 x 等於二除比三 ，y 等於四十七除比廿七，呢個就係 point of infection。經過咗三個例子之後，大家可以做嘅 exercise 就係第四、第五條、第六同埋第七條嘅 challenge 嘅題目。而家大家準備好筆。紙同埋計數機，當然準備好大家個頭腦，然之後我哋開始做 exercise 啦。第四條 ，for each of the following function find the intervals on which the function is canvas or concave。而家我哋 A part 有一條 function f x 係等於 x 嘅三次方減三 x 嘅二次方加 x 減二。我哋要揾個 range 令到呢一條 function 咧係 convex 或者係 concave。所以首先第一樣嘢啦，我哋做 f dash x 啦 ，d 去一次就係三 x 二次方減六 x 加一，再 d 去第二次 f dash dash x 係等於六 x 減六。咁如果佢係 convex 嘅話，即係話呢一個。f dash dash x 係大過等於零，咁我哋會有 f dash dash x 係等於六 x 減六大過等於零，咁 x 咧就會係大過等於一，所以 the range of x is 
一去到 infinity 啦，嗰條 f x 啦就會係 convex， 而 f d e x d e x x 係等於六 x 減六，細過等於零，而 x 啦就會係細過等於一。個 range of x is minor infinity 去到 one， 去到一，嗰個 f x 啦會係 concave。因為細過等於零，跟住第二條 f x 等於 x 四次方減三 x 三次方加二 x 減一，我哋將佢 d 一次就會係四 x 三次方減九 x 嘅二次方加比二，再 d 多佢一次就會係 f d e x d e x x 等於。十二個 x 二次方減十八個 x。放喺 convex 嘅話咧 ，f d e x d e x x 咧係大過等於零，即係等於十二 x square 減十八 x 係大過等於零。我哋就會有六 x 乘比二 x 減三係大過等於零。如果兩個成相乘大過等於零嘅話，兩個係正或者兩個都係負，我當我兩個都係正先啦，即係六 x 大過等於零 ，x 大過等於零，二 x 減三大過等於零 ，x 就係大過等於二分之三。當佢兩個都係正嘅話，咁佢大過等於零又大過等於二分之三，亦即係話。只係大過等於二分之三嘅啫。咁如果係一個正啊，兩個都係負嘅話，呢個六 x 細過等於零 ，x 係細過等於零，而二 x 減三係細過等於零 ，x 係細過等於三除比二。咁啊，又細過等於零，又細過三除比二，即係得呢一個嘅啫。咁即係由負 infinity 到呢一度。咁所以個。range of convex 咯，就會係由負 infinity 至到零啦。Union 就係由三分二分之三啦，係去到 infinity。咁呢個範圍啦，即係中間個範圍唔係啊，呢、這個範圍啦，嗰、那個 f d e x d e x x 啦，就會係大過零，亦即係呢個範圍之內啦 ，function f x 啦。就會係一條 convex 嘅 curve， 而 for concave 嘅話啦 ，f d e x d e x x 啦係細過等於零，咁亦即係話六 x 乘比二 x 減三啦，係細過等於零。咁因為呢個負呢、這個正呢、這個正就呢個負，咁我哋當前面呢一個係負先咯，所以係六 x 細過等於零 ，x 係細過等於零。呢、okay, 这個就會係正，咁二 x 減三就會係正，即係二 x 減三啦，就會大過等於零 ，x 啦就大過等於二分之三，咦，又大細過零啦，大過等於二分之三，咁呢個係冇可能嘅。咁跟住呢，如果呢個係大過零，六 x 大過零 ，x 係大過零，而二 x 減三啦係細過零。咁二 x 減三細過零 ，x 係細過二分之三，咁亦即係話 x 係大過零至到細過二分之三。咁、那個 range of concave 咧，就會係由 x 係由零啦，去到二分之三。咁呢個就係 range of concave。第五條嘅例子。f x 等於 arc sine x x 係由負一至到一，不包括負一同埋一。Show that the f x is concave on the intervals 負一至到零。Show that the f x is convex on the intervals 零去到一。Hence deduce the points of inflection of f x。如果係有 f x 等於 arc sine x f d e x x 啦。就會係等於一除比 square root 一減 x 嘅 square f d e x d e x x 啦
就會係等於 x 乘比一減 x 嘅 square 嘅負二分之三次方。咁呢個就係 f 即係 x。如果佢係 concave 嘅話咧，佢就係細過零，所以我又會有 f d e x x x 啦，係等於 x 除比一減 x square 嘅二分之三，係細過等於零。咁 x 啦就會係細過等於零。咁既然 x 細過等於零啦，佢係 concave 啦，所以負一至到零嘅時候啦，佢就會係 concave。So The range of x 係由負一至到零啦。f(x) is concave。我哋就 prove 咗第一條，跟住第二條，如果係 f d e x d e x x 係等於 x over 一減 x square 嘅二分之三，係大過等於零。咁大過等於零啦。亦即係話 x 啦係大過等於零，咁既然 x 係大過等於零，亦即係話由零到一嘅時候啦，佢就會係 convex。So the range of x 係零去到一啦 ，f x is convex。Very good。咁第三條啦，我係。第 C 嗰條啦，我哋就 hence deduce the point of infection of f x。嗱，既然 f x 係 concave 啦 ，in the range 啦，就係負一去到零啦。f x 係 convex 啦 ，in the range 啦，係由零去到一啦。咁佢個 common point 就係零，所以當 x 係等於零啦 ，f d e x d e x x 啦。就會係等於零。This is the point of infection。咁我哋 s u b t i t u t e x 等於零啦，係 into 個 y equation，y 等於 arc sine x 咯，亦即係等於 arc sine 零，亦即係等於零。咁、那個 point of infection 啦，我哋就可以證明到零零啦。Is the point of infection. 第六條 ，given that y 等於 x 乘比三 x 減一嘅五次方，我哋要揾 dy by dx 同埋 d square y by dx。所以 d y by dx 啦，根據個 product rule 或者我哋 multiplication rule 啦，我哋可以 d 呢一個 function x 三 x 減一嘅五次方。就會變成係十五 x 啦，三 x 減一嘅四次方加俾三 x 減一嘅五次方，咁 d square y by d x square 啦，就會係等於啦，啊十五個 x 三 x 減一嘅三次方乘四乘三啦。加俾三 x 減一嘅五次方乘比十五啦，再加俾十五三 x 減一嘅四次方，我哋將佢簡化咗之後啦，就係一百八十個 x 啦，三 x 減一嘅三次方加俾三十個三 x 減一嘅四次方。我哋就會揾到 dy by dx 同埋 d square y by dx square。跟住我哋要揾咧 ，find the point of the infection， 即係亦即係話呢個 y dash dash x 啦，就會係等於零。咁我哋就會揾到個 point of infection， 即係一百八十個 x 三 x 減一啦嘅三次方加三十個三 x 減一。嘅四次方係等於零，我哋抽個 common factor 出嚟啦，我哋就會有三 x 減一嘅三次方啦，乘比二百七十個 x 減三十，係等於零。抽埋個三十出嚟啦，三十啦，三 x 減一嘅三次方啦，呢個係九 x 減一，係等於零。咁既然呢兩個相乘等於零啦，亦即係話
三 x 减一等于零 ，x 系等于三分一啦，或者系九 x 减一等于零 ，x 系等于九分之一。我哋塞住条 x 等于九分之一啦，落去翻个 y equation 嗰度，我哋就计下个 y 系等于几多。所以當 x 係等於一分之九啦 ，y 咧係等於啦，係 x 啦，三 x 減一嘅五次方，亦即係等於一分之九啦，三乘俾一九分之一啦，減俾一嘅五次方，亦即係等於負一除俾九，乘俾三十二除俾二百四十三，亦即係等於。負三十二除比二千一百八十七，咁其中一個 point of infection 啦，就係 x 等於呢個 value，y 等於呢個 value， 所以其中個 point of infection 就係九分之一 ，y 就係負三廿二除比二千一百八十七。咁另外一個 point of infection 啦，就係 x 等於一除比三。抌翻落呢條式度，用 y 係等於一除比三乘比三乘比一除比三減比一嘅五次方，亦即係等於三分之一。一減一嘅五次方，亦即係等於零。咁 x 等於三分一嘅時候啦 ，y 係等於零。另外一個 point 咧就係一 over three， 一 over 三。另外就係 y 等於零。呢兩個咧都係 point of infection。兩個 point of infection。第七條有兩部分，一咧就係 prove that the every cubic curve has exactly one point of infection。咁我哋知道咗啦，先一個 cubic 嘅 function 啦 ，a general cubic curve have the function 啦，就可以寫成啦，係 y 等於 a x 嘅三次方。加 bx 嘅二次方加 cx 加 d， 咁當然 a 咧係唔等於零咯。然之後我係 d 去一次，所以係 y dash 咯，就會係等於三 a x square 加二 b x 加 c。d 去兩次就會係六 a x 加二 b。咁、那個 point of infection 即係 y dash dash 咧，係應該等於零，所以 y dash dash 咧係等於六 a x 加二 b 係等於零，所以 x 咧就會係等於負二 b 除比六 a。咁既然啦 x 只係得一個 solution，x 等於負二 b 除比六 a 嘅話啦，亦即係話 f x 啦。呢、这個 cubic 嘅 curve 啦，只係得一個 point of infection。So there is exactly one point of infection. Since x has only one solution. 第二部分，因為七嘅第二部分，我有條 curve 啦，係四次方 ，y 等於 a x 四次方加 b x 三次方加 c x 二次方加 d x 加 e， 而 a 係不等於零。So that the c has at most two point of infection， 我要證明啦，係呢條 curve 啦，係最多有兩個 point of infection， 咁亦都係一樣，我哋 d 佢一次啦。y dash 咧係等於四 a x 三次方加三 b x 二次方加二 c x 加 d d 去兩次 y dash dash 等於十二 a x 嘅二次方加六 b x 一次方加二 c 咁如果 y dash dash 係等於零嘅話咧，咁呢一個咧就係個 point of infection。咁我哋而家做嘅嘢啦，我哋就 let 大街 A 係等於十二 A 啦，大街 B 係等於六 B 啦，而大街 C 啦係等於兩個 C， 我哋就會有 y dash dash 等於
a x square 加 b x 加 c， 我哋将佢简化咗條式嘅啫。所以如果 if y d e s d e s 系等于零嘅话咧 ，a x square 加 b x 加 c 啦系等于零。咁 x 啦有两个 solution， 一个咧就系负 b 正负 square root b square 减四 a c。當然呢個係大街 A 嚇，跟住就除俾二 A 啦。係咁，所以 x 係最多有兩個 solution 嘅啫。因為呢一個 value 啦，如果係大過零嘅話啦，咁負 b 係加呢個 value 同埋減呢個 value 啦，就會出現咗兩個 solution。So therefore 啦 ，x has two solution。as most 最多兩個 solution， 所以 f x 啦 has as most two point of infection。OK， 第二部分 prove that if 三 B 嘅二次方細過八 A C。F x has no point of infection。根據上高我哋計到啦，如果呢個 b square 減四 a c 啦，係細過零嘅話啦，呢、这個係冇 solution 嘅，因為呢個係負數嘅話，負數係唔可以剔啊開方根，會冇一個 real number 嘅 solution。所以我哋將佢代翻入去，呢、这個大街 b 咧，其實係六個 b。嘅 square 減四 a 啦 ，a 咧其實就係十二細街 a 啦 ，c 大街 c 就係兩個細街 c 係細過零，咁 have no solution 嘅。我再繼續落去啦，就會有係三十六個 b square 啦，減九十六個 a c 啦，係細過零，抽個十二出嚟，我哋就得出咗。三 b square 啦，減十二應該係八係咪？八個 a c 係細過零，所以咧你會抽咗十二出嚟，我哋就會有三 b square 啦，係細過八 a c。所以如果三 b square 係細過八 a c 嘅時候咧，呢、这、一個將會係細過零，而細過零啦，上高呢個 x 啊係 no solution。So therefore, when b three b square less than eight a c, f x has no point of infection. 一條 curve 唔同咗啊 ，no point of infection. Okay, if you think this video is good and can help you, please subscribe and give like. So you press the button at the lower right corner to subscribe. And remember, when I have a new videos, you better click the bell shaft and see the new video. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutors for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me. At Chingtong nine two nine at yao dot com dot hk. My telephone number is plus one eight five two six five nine two eight six zero nine. 好多谢大家收听我呢个 video。如果你系希望你个 mathematics 同埋你个英文系更加好嘅话咧，你想要一个 private tutor 啦，你可以随时 contact 我嘅，令到你个 DSC exam 啦，或者你想考 SAT 啦。你亦都可以 contact 我，因為我都有一啲私人嘅補習喺呢一兩方面嘅。多謝大家 ，thank you， 拜拜 ，muchas gracias。